today where I'm sitting in for my colleague uh, Fred Indimuli who is uh, way down in Kakamega. He'll be joining us shortly. I have uh, Churchill Saoke. Churchill, good morning and welcome. Churchill is a lecturer at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. He's also a governance analyst. I also have with me um, uh, uh, Raymond Cheng. Raymond is a governance uh, consultant uh, and is consulting with uh, Sam Dev Consulting. And of course I have uh, Vincent Kimosop. Vincent is uh, a regular panelist here. He's a governance and political analyst. Uh, Vincent, uh, good morning and welcome. Good uh, morning, Chief Charles. How are you? Uh, not bad. Uh, very quickly, let's go through the papers, what we have in the daily today. I'll start with the standard. Uh, this p a panic hits Kalonzo, Raila teams of uh, NASA. That is a story that leads. And uh, uh, Johnson Mudama, Senator Machakos, is quoted as saying, Trust me, Kalonzo is not a child. You can accuse him of so many things, but I can assure you one thing. Kalonzo does not know how to lie. If he says he's in NASA, the whole hog, he is in NASA. Then, of course, there's a story about uh, uh, more details on page 20 of the standard. Good news for best performing teachers. Education Ministry now offers cash incentives as it issues new guidelines to pick the best performing tutors across the country. The sad situation from Baringo is also captured on the standard in page 18. Help for Baringo girl who lost siblings and grandpa. Uh, the little girl was flown to Nairobi uh, to receive uh, advanced medical treatment and of course this is a story on page two we'll be looking at it deeper uh, mps want why guru broke from uh, public uh, office and also get investigated data integrity is a story that the standard is looking at on page eight this is about iebc and election preparedness and they say the independent electoral and boundaries commission has admitted hackers attempted to breach its systems to steal crucial information ahead of the 2017 elections. More stories there. One of interest, gentlemen. Page 3 of the standard, a study now shows that painkillers raise the risk of heart attack and death. People need to know that researchers have now warned that uh, drugs like ibuprofen and uh, diclofenac could increase the danger of cardiac arrest by between 31 to 50 percent respectively. I think that's very important uh, for people to get to know. Uh, we look at the Daily Nation, uh, top story, how did you make your millions, Why Guru is asked, and we'll be looking at this story in details. Of course, page 9 of the Daily Nation has uh, the information about top Uhuru man links to the push to kick out Auditor General Edward Ouko. And uh, the incident that uh, occurred in Italy, Naivasha MP John Kihagi Karanja was on Tuesday deported from Italy. He was first held by authorities in Rome before he was put on a, uh, a flight back to Nairobi. Apparently his visa had uh, hitches. Now the story about your health is again on uh, page 3, uh, sheer coincidence, page 3 of the standard, uh, page 3 of the nation. Painkillers can stop your heart you need to uh, watch out. More stories on NASA uh, in uh, the Daily Nation. Uh, we'll be looking at them later. They're on page 4 and 5. Uh, the star uh, opens the story about Nairobi politics. Now, Senator blames senior officials in office of the president. That's uh, Nairobi Senator Mike Gideon Bubi Sonko says Jubilee. Uh, there's a plot to deny Sonko Nairobi ticket. Uh, recent polls have shown that uh, Sonko is the biggest threat to Kidero. More on that on the spread on pages 4 and 5 of the star. Of course, uh, the story that we'll be looking at in detail, uh, NASA politics, counter-attack, Joho, Kingi and Murutu hit back at uh, Uhuru. The daily, uh, business daily opens the story about central bank governor facing a probe for failure to prevent theft at the National Youth Service. This is in relation to the National Youth Service scam, and we'll be looking at it uh, deeper as we look at uh, the Anwai Guru story. And of course, another interesting story on page uh, one and page four of the Business Daily, Kenya's competition watchdog, the Competitions Authority of Kenya, has now compelled Safaricom to disclose and lower its third-party mobile banking service charges in a move that intensifies the heat on the dominant telecoms operator. And finally, katika gazeti la taifa leo, hi leo, maabari zilizopewa uh, kipaumbele ni kwamba uh, seneta wa Nairobi Gideon Mbuvi Sonko adai kwamba jubilina njama ya kumzuia kushiriki mchujo wa kuwania ugavana Nairobi. Sasa kichwa kilicho weko pale ni kwamba maskini Sonko na uh, picha haki ambaye inuanyesha kweli ana umaskini kwenye uso wake. Yeah. But gentlemen, yeah. we get back to the real stories on... Uh, yeah the daily today nairobi politics the star has it on page one page four and five the daily nation has it on page six the standard has it on page seven now the daily the, the standards 
and uh, Nairobi, uh, the star, have given it more prominence. Now, there is the issue about um, Johnson Sakaja presenting his papers to Jubilee for nominations uh, as a um, a senator, uh, candidate for the Senate position, and this is a position that is currently held by Sonko. Remember, there was the issue of Sonko, Sakaja, Peter mm -hmm. Kenneth, uh, Margaret Wanjiru, uh, David Waweru, Dennis mm -hmm. Waweru, all going out from Jubilee yeah. to take on Kidero. What's it with Nairobi politics? I'll start with you. Uh, uh, thank you so much for having me back again. Uh, I would say Sakaja is a political past realist, and uh, and uh, in terms of uh, his movement, I, I believe it's going to be having impact. Remember, he started by saying he's going to buy at home. And when he went, uh, the ground, again, in terms of what was reported in the media, it was being said that on the ground, people are saying he's not part of them mm -hmm. because they've never seen him. Then he came back to Nairobi. And uh, when he came back to Nairobi, he, he thought about, again, being an MP in Nairobi. And again, he changed when the Nairobi team came up. And uh, what they've also been trying to capitalize in terms of the euphoria that we had in the previous election. You remember, there was, uh, it was the first competition that we had in Nairobi after the coalition politics. And it was so heated. And uh, you remember how Sonko, Shebesh, and the team generated a lot of euphoria and, and, and that, that big bang theory within Nairobi. So they realized that it may not so work. And uh, I believe that may affect him. We are yet to see how it's going to pan out. But I, I think in terms of um, his shifting uh, this far, it, it's going to be a risk for him. I Churchill, how does this sit for Sonko? It, it, I mean, the story here is that uh, he now claims there's a plot to deny him the Nairobi ticket. Of course, we had uh, stories in other quarters of the media that the police had denied him a certificate. The whole night prior to this morning, there was a copy of his uh, good conduct certificate on social media. I, I think his claim appears more to be some sort of sense of entitlement, and I mean this is politics, and you've got to, you got to fight it out. So I really think that Mike, Mike, Mike Sonko, <laughs> in, my, in my opinion, uh, these were things that really was just a matter of time. When you look at his engagement previously... You You're know, saying it was on the wall, but he didn't <laughs> see, I mean, he read he, it. He, he didn't read it. Because you look at... He was, close, he was close to power. I think this is what he thought he was close to power. Yeah, sure. But I think he did not know what, what do the people in the corridors of power, especially within the circles of Jubilee, think of him. And I wonder what would happen him. if indeed he's denied this ticket. What do you think would happen? What would happen is that... You see, Sonko has... We cannot deny the fact that he has some sort of fanatical following in Nairobi, which is kind of cross-cutting those who just believe in Sonko, whether he can deliver as a governor or not. So somehow it is it's going to hurt Jubilee in one way, because there are people who are actually going to vote in revolt that, you know, you, you, you mishandled our, our preferred candidate, and so we are gonna, we, we, we're going to vote just for the, the opponent of Jubilee. Yeah. But, then, but then again, he, he really has now really to sit down and think of his options as Mike Sonko, my candidate as governor, was I pegging it on you know, the, the, the support of the Jubilee bigwigs, or was it me as a person? Mm -hmm. So he might, he might need to have those deep reflections so that he, 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 he weighs his strength uh -huh. with a view of helping him to, to see wha what are the options he, he, he can take. But then I, I, I want to l take a little bit on Sakaja. I might not want to describe him as a political pa pastoralist. <laughs> 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 As they were saying, uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> but sort of, uh, he, I think he, he got his plan. He got his plan and he saw that, I mean, where is my, my partnership with, with, with Sonko and the perception that he has, where is he taking me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is, you, you know, I, I don't consider Sakaja to really have a serious political constituency in Nairobi. I mean, this guy has never been, he's not an elected official. Mm -hmm. So his constituency may be, uh, I, 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 don't like, I don't like galvanizing the, 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 the ethnic base of political support, mm -hmm. but maybe that is what the people within the circles of, of, of Jubilee are considering him uh, to bring. But, but I, I, I disagree with, with the uh, I'll, I'll come I, to you. I, 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 let, let me get to you. You come back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me get to here. <laughs> uh, Vincent, I want <laughs> us to look at it more broadly now. There's the issue of throwing the Moranga uh, 
there's a story about what the, the Muranga leadership wants over Nairobi leadership, uh, throwing the fact that uh, uh, according to recent polls, the star says Sonko was the biggest threat to Kidero's re-election. Now, should it happen that his cries are indeed true? What does this mean? Okay, um, I think we have to look at Nairobi in, in the following through the following lenses. Number one, is that uh, Nairobi is the economic base of the country. Or approximately 50% of our GDP is generated, generated in Nairobi. Yeah. And every, every serious political uh, power or political uh, establishment that is in power <laughs> would want to have a stake in the politics of Nairobi. Uh, number two is that uh, you should also look at Sonko from the 2013 general elections. He is the only person who got more votes after uh, Uhuru and Raila Odinga. He actually got more votes than, than any all the other the presidential yes. candidates. So yeah, this is not so somebody <laughs> you can therefore you uh, you therefore can ignore in uh, in politics. But uh, remember, if, uh, power the way power is conducted, there is also a level to which uh, the pedigree that um, uh, Sonko has conducted himself he's not under the respect and the credibility to be able to be entrusted with uh, running the city that is of course you know what is in Nairobi the headquarters of many United Nations so uh, the, the many embassies so when you look at how he does his politics is uh, more uh, street wise than um, he's not the boardroom person Kidero so, are, are you alluding to the fact that this could be a strategic move by GD? and if you want and I'm, tell, I'm just heading towards that if you want to see look for example there are already posters out showing that Waveru has gone back to Dagoreti. I'm sure you've seen it uh, on the, the on social media. Although he has not come out clearly. But yet. you know some of these things, you, you, you is from an analysis perspective, if you see the indications, as uh, uh, Sakaja is uh, gone to uh, Senate, you can see, yet they were actually working together saying if it is not one of us, it's either one of us or not. So that tells you that um, the, the whole issue about uh, all succession politics already is at play. So you're seeing that there is uh, internal issues, of course, Uhuru succession politics at play. You're looking at who is it that is when you put outside them will not only secure Nairobi, but also will carry the profile that we would want as a political party uh, for Nairobi. And that's why when you look at, Sonko might have the numbers, but remember also that they, they are uh, they the are yeah, they are 190 and then they are Wenyeinchi. So the Wenyeinchi looks like uh, are in favor of Peter Kenneth. What would happen to the revolt that he's talking mm -hmm. about? Um, uh, the re th that can be managed because uh, if you look at our politics, the way we voted, uh, as the people, we our voting has been ethnic. So the question is what base, for example, uh, the only base that uh, Sonko might be a critical is the youth, the way he's been able to connect very well with the young people, and also the, you cannot ignore that there is a significant percentage of people who feel that Sonko represents uh, them. The interest of now, the, the, the challenge, the advantage with that is that when the signal comes from the top, the rank and file or almost somehow uh, uh, does what uh, follows the direction. After the nomina nominations, for example, will be murky. But after nominations, once all once the principles speak, then you'll find everybody towing the line. So I don't expect him to. Uh, he's possibly likely to remain as a, s a uh, senator. senator. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and if he remains as a senator, uh, brings what Dakari was saying here in terms of I believe Sakaja has not had a plan. Mm -hmm. that, that that's the part that I was having a contrary opinion because then if he has. Uh, if, if at all he has a plan, uh, then Vincent talks about uh, probably Mike Sonko is going to be coming back uh, for senator. I think one thing that is for sure is uh, in terms of the political elite, uh, I've decided that for Nairobi, this is uh, somebody that we really portray can really meet the interests of the political elite. And whether the political elite can turn over the scales mm -hmm. and, 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 and pull a win mm -hmm. on the majority of the people. One, Sonko has mobilized the young people. Uh, Sonko has also, in terms of our below the poverty line, there is quite a majority. And, yes, and, 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 and as a, for a fact, mm -hmm. the Sonko rescue team has, has kind of shown the Nairobians mm -hmm. that this is the, this is the person that when my house is burnt at a place that cannot be accessed, he reaches this is the sample, somebody. So in terms of how Vincent is saying mm -hmm. that it would be so easy that after nominations, we are not going to be having a problem, mm -hmm. I believe, and, and, and we are going to come back here. Mm -hmm. How Sonko is going to be handled is going to be a big headache. There's a comment I mean, by there's a comment by yeah. minor commander here, uh, Mr. MP. Yeah. He says uh, 
uh, all is well in Jubilee camp, but he insists that Kenneth is the best bet for the city. Now Yusuf Hassan, another MP from Ka Nairobi Kamukunji, uh, to be precise, says, in and out at Jubilee, there is no one more qualified and better placed to correct the mess in this city than Peter Kenneth. So is it drifting more towards the um, 20, the succession politics, mm -hmm. or is it really about the management I of the city? Oh, I, 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 I think there's quite a lot to do with the succession politics. Much more than the management of Nairobi. <laughs> Much more than. Of course, we cannot we cannot uh, wish away the capacity and the credibility of uh, of uh, Peter Kenneth yeah. to manage the city. Mm. But uh, the, I think the the future the, fu the the futuristic nature of his him being brought, especially from you know Muranga, especially Muranga, then the Nairobi. There's a lot to do with the succession politics. But think about it. You see, they always say that the prodigy, the, the prodigy never comes from the city. And mm -hmm. I, I'm just thinking that if Peter Kenneth really wants to be president of this country someday, based on history, this is not best. This, 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 I'm, I'm not saying that he can't be president, but I, 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 is it possible for? A president to come from the city it has never been seen no but, but you no just a minute yeah. just a minute okay. it, it's never happened it's possible but as we say the project never comes from the city but another thing that is also that is also important in this in this whole thing of, of succession if he vies for governorship in the city mm -hmm. Peter Kenneth has always come out as a nationalistic leader and he is this guy who really wants to transcend the ethnic divide mm -hmm and break away from the, the, the ethnic legacies that have been that have been propagated by, 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 by dynasties. Mm -hmm. And so his his being governor in Nairobi will really be very good because, you know, he's going to solidify himself as a national leader who has been able to represent a city that is multi ethnic. But but, 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 but where is he not where championed is by a certain yeah. uh, uh, tribal uh, backing. Because, and because, because if that happens is, is, then it means is, he has is, to support it's being supported because I, the person who is fronting him, for example, currently who've come out strongly is for example Maina Kamanda, the you can see very clearly that the base that is being excited is the is, is the central or uh, the Mount Kenya uh, base. So if you if you're saying that he was is a nationalistic leader and of course I'm not denying yeah. then the, what what, be, uh, what questions what the questions that will arise is uh, but he has left the national scene as a, as a presidential candidate to go to back to to a to a to go to to go to a to a maybe like a governor of course Nairobi's governor is a senior position yeah. And the people who are fronting, who are the face of the campaign, uh, uh, have actually in, in history in the past saying, for example, it's our time for a one of our... So those are the questions that uh, therefore challenge the element that the you the think... That and, 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 yes. and you see, you see Vincent, yes. uh, Churchill... Okay, very quickly, Churchill then value then performance. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Churchill <laughs> value <laughs> performance. But, but it comes with a baggage of historical context mm -hmm. and uh, the underlying issues that are coming. Which is a very heavy... Just something. Think about it. You see, what we are talking about is the challenge that this country has had, mm -hmm. the bipolar nature of this, of this country's politics. Mm -hmm. That you cannot come out and stand as a candidate and people believe that you do not fall in any of these sides. Well then, and we so, uh, if, I if, think, if, I think if, we have if to if one element of person supports you, uh -huh. then you belong on this side. So I think it's some sort of mindset that we must really change yeah. if we really want and to. How yeah, but, but, and but how but do Charles, you change? Charles, Gentlemen, Charles, we, listen, have, we listen, have to Charles. move on. Oh, okay. We have to move on. I, I'm sure yeah, we will yeah, have, we'll have to come another back. forum to <laughs> have a discourse yeah. on this. <laughs> and Nairobi politics quite interesting. I would have loved to know. Now that... We, we are looking at it like a station thing. Does it mean Kidero is ripe for national leadership? Uh, if, I can tell you uh, honestly. If uh, now if that I, he's been Nairobi uh, governor, if I, if, I, if, Nero, if uh, Evans Kidero wants to become a president of the Republic of Kenya, the fifth or even maybe in 2022, yeah. is that he has a wonderful platform to actually deliver that, and that is the city of Nairobi. Because uh, the, being the governor of the city, you have access, uh, the number one access to the, to the engaging Everything national, national, uh, national platforms, and also uh, the, the diplomatic uh, platforms. And, and if you deliver in the city, the city is usually a mirror. It, at, it mirrors everybody in the country. If, we, if every Kenyan is living in Nairobi is happy with the performance of Kidero, then that has uh, the, uh, 
the uh, possibility of being elevated to the next level and that's why for me I, uh, the practical decisions why I see Peter Kenneth coming from the Actually, national Vincent, that's not practical that, that's very theoretical mm -hmm. that, that, that's very theoretical to say that uh, Kidero uh, has got networks He's done something within the room. No, no, he's not. He's saying that. He's saying that. He's saying that. Should he have the pedestal? He has the pedestal. He has the pedestal. Yes, but the question is, he's mentioned because of his performance. No, he's saying no, that. Yeah. If he performs if he and satisfies yes. Nairobian. But the question, Charles, is how many days do we have to elect him? No, I think. I think that means that I have to bring into perspective of if he performs. No, no, no. Listen to the question. Okay, okay. Listen to the question. If he performs. If he performs. The question is. The month that we have, Raymond, he's good. Raymond, he's this good. is the thing. My question was, yes. mm -hmm. does it therefore mean yeah. that if you are the governor of Nairobi, mm -hmm. you can be a national leader? You that is what he was leader, re yeah. responding to. He That's was, what he was, he was saying. saying yeah. Kidero, and this time Kidero is not the individual. Kidero is the governor of Nairobi. The governor mm -hmm. of Nairobi. He says the governor of Nairobi stands a good chance because he has all the offices doors opened yeah. the governor of nairobi so long as you satisfy the residents of nairobi in service delivery yeah. then you can easily go up yeah. there and say yeah. no. I, I, I wanted I, I, to I, give I, direction I final direction i sort of totally agree with that because yeah. you see when you look at being president of kenya you are a statesman yeah. and and so we are not just looking at how the locals in, in the, the people in the nyamachamu perceive you but we are also looking at who how does the diplomatic circle see you are you capable of building confidence to investors to come to this? Because country? they report back to their uh, uh, from the so missions back to the headquarters. So, it, it, so it, if the roads are bad, they hit potholes all the time. If if the garbage is next to their gates, if they don't have water in their offices, they will report exactly that. Yeah, and you know most of these people are quite elite. You can't lie to them. All right, mm. gentlemen, let's move on. Um, yeah. Quite an interesting story, uh, starting with. Uh, uh, the Business Daily, now Central Bank of Kenya governor faces proof for failure to prevent theft at the National Youth Service. Remember the Parliamentary Accounts Committee that has been investigating the National Youth Service. Come, 